Good evening, sports fans, and welcome to Team Takeum's Picks for the NFL Conference Championships. As always, I'm your host, Jason P. Sean P. and Billy B. will be along in just a few moments. The season is winding down, and this is our second-to-last video as a team. Up first, a quick recap of how we did last week. Both Sean P. and Billy B. went 3-1, and one, and Billy B. is particularly upset about that one because the lone loss was his Denver Broncos riding off into the sunset. And as such, Billy B. kept his video short and sweet this week. So short it would be ludicrous of me to try and cut it down to present both Sean's and Billy's thoughts on each game. So tonight you will see Sean's thoughts on both games, and then Billy's unaltered, uncut thoughts on both games. Also, this week is the final week to get your votes in for the 4th Annual Geo Knows Awards, so head over to geonos.com and click the Awards tab and vote for Team Take'em for Most Entertaining and Video of the Year to help send Team Take'em off with some gold to show for our efforts. Voting ends this Sunday night, so once again, head to geonos.com, click the Awards tab to vote for your favorite YouTube prognosticators to win Most Entertaining and Video of the Year. And now, without further ado... Let's get to the picks. What's up, everybody? Sean P. here, back with you guys for the conference championship games this weekend. Last weekend, I finally regained my form and went 3-1. and one. The only loss coming in the final game of last week's games when the Indianapolis Colts took out the Denver Broncos. There's reports Peyton Manning was playing injured. Regardless, they lost the game. I was very surprised how flat the Broncos came out and how their inability to move the ball throughout the game kept showing up. So with that said, 3-1 and one last week, good momentum. I've got two weeks left. I've got the conference championship games this week, and then I've got the Super Bowl for one final shot to get back over 500 for the season. In order for me to do that, I do need to go 2-0 and this week and win the Super Bowl game, but I can still go 500 with a couple scenarios. Worst case scenario, I lose out. I'm under 500 for the first time ever in all four years doing this. So I'm looking to avoid that. All right, with that said, let's get right into this week's games. The first game I'm going to look at is the Saturday game, which has Green Bay playing the Seattle Seahawks. Green Bay is plus 7.5 in this game, and I think an injured Aaron Rodgers ends up heroically leading his team to victory. However, I don't think it's Aaron Rodgers that necessarily does most of the work. I think it's Green Bay's defense that forces some key turnovers and has Seattle give up the ball in bad position, which allows the Packers' offense to more easily score. I think the Packers defense ends up being the heroes of the game, and I think the Green Bay Packers probably win this game outright, but again, let's take them plus seven and a half. Take them. All right, the second game we're going to look at is the final game of the weekend, which has the Indianapolis Colts playing the New England Patriots. Now, I know Tom Brady and Bill Belichick have had great success together. They have not won since Spygate. You could almost see the story playing out where they end up getting to the Super Bowl this year, maybe against an injured Aaron Rodgers, and they end up redeeming themselves, finally winning one more title together um, after Spygate. I just don't know if it's going to happen. Uh, this game is really tough for me to pick and, and tell you who I think is really going to win. I don't have that strong of feelings on it, but I think it's going to be a close game. And if I had to go one way or the other, I would go with the Indianapolis Colts. The Indianapolis Colts played great against the Broncos last week. They seem to be the team with the most momentum in the playoffs right now, if you ask me. And so I think that they could come out and potentially take down the Patriots this week or at least keep it within that 6.5 point range. So let's go with Indianapolis, plus 6.5. Take them. All right, that's going to do it for me this weekend, guys. And uh, make sure to tune in in two weeks for the Super Bowl special where we're going to try to all get together uh, for the video. And again, uh, if you want to, make sure, uh, if you didn't watch last week's video, me and Jason are starting a new channel called This Be Why. So make sure to go follow us on social media and all that good stuff. I'm sure Jason mentioned it in the beginning. Uh, he mentioned it last week. I mentioned it last week. So if you're more interested to learn about that, go to the last week's video or just follow us on YouTube or Twitter, This Be Why. Um, we also have a temporary website set up, which we posted last week. Um, and with that, remember, when life hands you lemons, take them. So guys, I'm going to keep this uh, very short. I'm going to take the Packers plus 7.5 and the Indianapolis Colts plus 6.5. The less said about Billy B's video, the better. I mean, how much can you really say about a 10-second video? You know what? If this was during the regular season, I may have made a big deal about this. But with two weeks to go and our exit coming up, I'm not going to rock the boat now. I mean, if I were to say anything, it would be that this wasn't Billy B's picks video, it was his audition tape for Ghost Hunters on Sci-Fi. 
but I won't say that. Or then point out that we shouldn't steal another prognosticator's gimmick and TV show parodies are best left to NFL predictor 316, who should win a Geo Knows Award for best production. But I'm not going to say that either. Nope. Not going to say any of that. Because Billy B was depressed and after the Broncos went down to the Colts, you don't kick a friend when he's down. Nope. Not going to do that. In fact, Jason, cut that out, and when you edit this, pick it up here. There you have it, Team Takem's picks for the conference championships. So remember, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, leave your comments down below, and please, please, please go to geonos.com, click on the awards tab, and vote for Team Takem for most entertaining and video of the year. Voting ends this Sunday, so get your votes in now. We're off next week, but we will return the following week for our season finale, the Team Take'em 4th Annual Super Bowl Spectacular. Good night, and remember, if you can't beat them, take them.